Movie Phony News is a Walter Lance Productions New Universal Cartoons cartoon from 1938. This is directed by Alex Lovey and written by Rick and McLeod and Wynne Smith with a voice cast including Billy Bletcher, Dorothy Compton, Beatrice Hagen, Mary Motor, Shirley Reed and Danny Webb. There are some good things about this and there are some relatively not great things about it. Basically, it's a bunch of previous Walter Lance clips presented as if it were a newsreel. And on the one hand, that feels really cheap, really lazy. It's just a quick way of mashing together existing animation, packaging it in a slightly different way and presenting it to the audience. And I feel like it's very lazy. And I feel like if you are a fan of those cartoons, you'll have already seen a lot of those cartoons. Now, I say that... I don't think I'd seen any of them in this because I am quite new to Walter Lance. I have reviewed quite a lot of Walter Lance cartoons, but the catalogue is extensive, so I still have a lot to go. And I don't think I'd seen any of these before, so I was watching it with fresh eyes. It was all quite new to me. But because I knew they were pre-existing clips, it kind of ruined it a little bit because I felt like it was a very lazy way of creating a new cartoon. In general, I'm not a fan of compilations anyway, so it's not exclusive to Walter Lance, this particular feeling that I don't like this kind of cartoon. In general, I don't care for them because if I want to watch those cartoons, I will watch those cartoons. And obviously this was released in the 1930s when it wasn't necessarily as easy to go back and watch those cartoons, so maybe it would have been a little bit better at the time. But with that being said, if you are a regular viewer, you still would have seen those cartoons. So if you watch this looking for some new and exciting comedy or fun animation that you'd never experienced before, that's not what you're getting with this. I will say the selection of clips, though, is quite good, by which I mean there's a great variety. We have a lot of characters, and that's kind of the only thing that I enjoyed about this, is having various different characters who aren't usually in the same cartoon, being within the same cartoon. Obviously, their clips are still separate, but having them under this one title was quite interesting. We have Minnie, Miney and Mo, Oswald, and the scenarios for each clip are, are quite different. We have, for example, we have the fashion segment and the sports segment. So it is packaged together nicely, but I would have preferred it if they were fresh clips, because now when I go and watch those cartoons for the first time, they won't be completely new to me because I already will have seen bits of them, not in its entirety, of course, but it won't be a completely new cartoon. I will have already seen some of it. So whether you've already seen those clips or you are like me on a journey with Walter Lance and you will see them eventually, this might ruin some of the comedy in them. So I just don't care for the concept. As I said, it's not exclusive to Walter Lance. I don't really care for any compilations. There are some exceptions, of course, but in general, I feel like they're maybe not the most interesting. The variety was good. The editing was good. The assortment of characters, not too bad at all. The different locations, different settings. I enjoyed all of that well enough, but it is ruined by the fact that I know that I'm going to then watch those cartoons and I've already seen bits of them. And I won't be experiencing them for the first time. And of course, had I seen any of those cartoons before, I'd be watching it going, well, I've seen this. This isn't interesting. We do have some narration to kind of make it a little bit different, but it's it's still not enough. It's not enough. So do I recommend it? Not really. If you haven't seen the clips, I'd say avoid it so you don't have it spoiled for you. If you have seen the clips, I'd say that it doesn't really add anything interesting. I guess the only way I'd maybe suggest it is if you are completely new to Walter Lance Productions and you'd like to sample various different cartoons or characters, this might be actually a good way to, to get a flavour of what Walter Lance around this time had to offer. But other than that, I'd say movie phony news probably isn't worth checking out.